It has been wonderful. I've been receiving congratulatory messages from far and near. They are happy and grateful to God and those who made the election possible. Um, it is a thing of joy. People are happy. People are happy. And they are grateful to all those that made the election possible. And I must remain grateful to all those that um, made the election possible. And to those that are the calling, I will appreciate them. And based on the congratulatory messages I am receiving, I will do my best to ensure that um, my people are satisfied. That I can assure you. And I pray that everybody should seriously to join hands with um, NDUSCO to ensure that we achieve our goal. It is wonderful, and I appreciate God for making it possible. And we have started on Monday this week. I met with my ESCO, and for now we have set up um, two committees. For now, one is um, revenue, another is uh, education. Uh, I have so in mind that other committees, such as um, welfare political, peace building, and the others will be set up to ensure that um, things went well in Esokwa. And also this morning, I and my school visited the palace to introduce ourselves to him, and we also received, I pleaded with him that everybody should join hands to ensure that peace is restored to Esokwa. As a matter of fact, for the, these past years, Many things have eluded the land, and I told him that that will not continue. That we must ensure, with its cooperation, Onitsha and Council, the Palace, that as I visited the Palace, so also I visit Onitsha and Council and the Palace to join hands together to ensure that peace is a result to the Sukkah community. And uh, I want to assure everybody that that is my sincere desire. And I pray that um, everybody should see reason to work with us and by the grace of God that we are going to achieve because it's important, very paramount, believing and bearing in mind that um, in absence of peace, there's no prosperity in that land. With its actions so far, uh, I've seen, I've, I've also observed that it's a complete gentleman, a man that's a very dear, to develop the local government. From his actions so far, I will do my best that I relate with him. Also do everything possible that uh, development come to Sokwa. Because for the past years we have not benefited. But from the action of this new chairman, he's going to do wonderfully good. Not only to Sokwa, but to the entire towns and villages in Anyocha South. He's very, very responsive. You call him anytime, he will answer you. I know as a fact that uh, this month of uh, April, he jumped back to the activities and um, other assignments. If not, it is my sincere desire to ensure that um, annual conference is held in this month of April, but it will not happen because I will give everybody enough information and publicity to ensure that the conference is attended so by, by your... so by the grace of God, on or before May ended, our annual conference must be held. My advice and appeal is that they should see reason to come back for us to amend our ways and um, rethink to ensure that peace is restored. And uh, I will also use this medium to appeal to them that in Sukwa land is their home. They have no in other land. Uh, that they should see reason to bring prosperity. They are building companies elsewhere. They are the son in Sokwa. And I know as a fact the, the action is based on the happenings in Sokwa. Because for the past nine years there's no peace. So a wise man cannot invest in a place where there's no peace and harmony. So by this time around, based on this election in particular, many are willing now to come back home and establish. I can assure you.
Take another formation Hey, I have no say out Take another formation Take another formation 